Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Tiwari, and in this segment today we are going to discuss about the challenges of gene editing, which has been acknowledged by the WHO. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. So let's begin with the topics of discussion that we are going to look at. First of all, as always, we will talk about the news. Then we will discuss about the highlights and the background of this entire news. We will also talk about what is gene editing, the Genome India project, and also the intended benefits of this project. We will also talk about the associated challenges, the way forward, and in the last of the segment, I am going to give you a main spaced question for answer writing practice. So let's begin. with why is it in the news the world health organization has said that according to a report which has been published in the furor the worldwide furor against the development of two genetically modified babies by a chinese scientist that we need to have a global registry of any manipulation in the genome and any editing in the genome also the who has established that we need a better whistle blower mechanism to flag such concerns with respect to gene editing so if we talk about the background of this project why this actually happened this happened because of the development of two genetically modified babies by a chinese scientist who said that he did so to keep them safe from hiv because they could inherit it from their parents so the twin babies were developed or modified genetically and he also said that he did this without any acknowledgement or information to the university he was doing in it so what is genome basically genome is a set of information which contains the dna the deoxyribose nucleic acid which has all the information for a human being to guide its development throughout and it is in the sort of a double stranded intertwined helix so the information is contained in the dna the color of your hair the color of your skin the color of your eyes how tall you are going to be are you going to be short fat thin whatever there is is here in the dna and what is genome editing genome editing or the editing of the gene is actually modifying a part of the dna by removing it by altering it or even by cutting it off or adding the modified or the programmed gene programmed strand so let's talk about a very cheap and very useful and increasingly accepted technology that is the crispr cas9 technology when it comes to gene editing crispr is a short form for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats and it has this tool by the name of cas9 so this is the tool and the cas9 protein forms a complex within with guide rna cell what does it do if you look at it the complex this complex attaches itself a matching genomic dna sequence adjacent to the spacer this is the dna and what happens it has attached itself this is the cas9 it has attached itself to the dna after that the cas9 suppose supposedly this is a dna which has cancer cells can the information or the hereditary cancer cells are in this dna so what does it do it cuts off the part of the dna which has this information about a hereditary cancer cell so what does it do it cuts off it cuts it off and a programmed dna is attached to it so this is how the gene editing tool works 
Moving on, if we talk about what is gene editing inside it only, the application of it. First is agriculture. In agriculture, there has been research made by, made from the perspective of gene editing that in order to increase the crop yield, the nutrition, the better disease resistance in a crop or even if we talk about making it resistant to pests and also herbicides, this technique could be useful. Also, when it comes to genetic research, in the field of drug research, in the field of drug screening, therapeutic technologies also, this, this is an important editing, this is an important method when it comes to taking care of the such cells, such DNA strands which are capable of causing cancer, capable of causing HIV or sickle cell disease. This could be, those cells could be mutated. And when it comes to medical treatment, once we understand the gene of a person, the more targeted medical treatment would be able to be developed by the scientific community. And also therapeutic cloning. That means in order to have a successful organ transplant, embryonic cells could be used by the help of gene editing to have a proper and successful organ transplant. So these are the applications or the benefits of it. So India, when we talk, when we talk about India, the Indian Genome India Project, it is actually inspired by the Human Genome Project. And the problem with Human Genome Project is that it's not very diverse. 95% of the information when it comes to the genetic information has been drawn from the urban middle class white people. So as you can see, it will not be of use to India as it lacks diversity. So that is why this project has been launched in order to take care of the Indian related issues when it comes to genes. So you can see 22 partner organizations including the IITs and IISC, these have been roped in. And in the first phase, 10,000 number of Indians whose genomic data will be catalogued. Also, Department of Biotechnology has initiated this project. So, the issue with India is, India has been a land where lots of diversities exist and because of that, we have two particular diversities, horizontal and vertical. When it comes to horizontal diversities, the first First ever immigrants when we talk about India were the Africans and after that in many phases, in many waves, people from around the world in different times came across. So we need to understand their genetic history. Also, vertical diversity, in many cases India has also witnessed marriages within a group and it, it is of course needed to understand why disease of a particular nature is so inherent in that group only. For that very reason, the Genome Indian mapping will be of use. Moving on, if we talk about the intended benefits, Precision Healthcare is one of them because Genome India project will help in the development of personalized medicine, anticipating diseases and modulating treatment according to the genome of the patients. You see, in many places, certain underlying causes are the problems in the Southeast Asian, South Asian and African countries as well. But the similar underlying disease causes strokes in Africa, but heart attack in the Southeast Asia or South Asia. Why is it happening so? This project will help us understanding in that. Also, sustainable agriculture, similar benefits would come to agriculture if there is a better understanding of the genetic basis of the susceptibility of plants to pests insects and other issues hampering productivity because after this what will happen the dependence on chemicals pesticides and insecticides will also reduce also if we talk about international cooperation the global sciences would also benefit from mapping the project in one of the world's most diverse gene pool that is india 
there are certain associated challenges with the entire genome mapping first is debate in agriculture genetic modification because studies certain studies have found that crispr cas9 technology edited genome edited crops were causing cancer they were cancerous as well carcinogenic also it could cause a crop which has been modified genetically could be allergic some people could be allergic to those crops then germline modification germline modification means modifying a human baby in uh, in the sense that the dna of the baby has been modified and it will of course pass on to the future generation what modifications what mutation will cause what disease this is yet unknown to us so that is another challenge genetic inequality very rich parents who would want the latest updates of their baby the baby should be fair or the baby should be tan the baby should be tall or short or whatever they would want they could have a play they could have a play in the sense they could modify their baby according to their own whims and wishes which will cause rising genetic inequality in a world which is already stricken with such deep inequalities we do not want another set of social inequality then comes illegal experimentation many countries such as in turkey ukraine russia it has been found that in many universities of these countries modifications or illegal experimentations when it comes to gene editing is taking place which is not ethical in nature so these were the associated challenges if we talk about from the indian context the in india rules for the manufacture and use import export storage of hazardous microorganisms genetically engineered organisms for sale 1989 under the environment protection act of 1986 this guides many policies and many schemes related to genetic modification and apart from this national ethical guidelines for biomedical and health research involving human participants 2017 also looks at it the gene editing tool has indeed taken life sciences to a new epoch however like other scientific development it can turn out to be both has a boon or a bane if we talk about the current scenario the covid-19 pandemic it has increased inequality why because many rich and developed countries they refused to share their vaccines with the poorer countries in the southeast asia in the african region so this was also called as a catastrophic moral failure on the part of the developed countries the rich countries what if we see similar developments when it comes to gene editing technologies also if we talk about the end of it the therefore it all depends how well the gene editing science is taking shape and is regulated for the welfare of human kind and if we talk about a global registry and a better whistle blowing mechanism and also the committee of ethics in such universities it would be of a great deal to the entire world let's move on to our question which says genome india project provides an opportunity for india to make great progress in the fields of biotechnology agriculture and healthcare discuss So I hope you'll be able to answer it with the help of this segment that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching